Good morning, everybody. Monday morning update. Um, Monday, October 18th. Oh, my goodness. And uh, I'm going to read out of the book of Jude. Oh, I got my It Ain't Easy Being Cheesy shirt on there, guys. Thank you for that gift, and thank you for all the cards and all the... That was awesome. Um, I, I, you caught me off guard with that one, so that was nice. And um, I appreciated the get-together and just the time that we got to spend, and, and I appreciate you all, too. I hope you know that. So I'm going to read out of Jude, and uh, from Jude... Um, uh, it's a one chapter book, so I'll read the verses. I'm probably going to go 17 and, and well, I don't know how far I'll go. I don't know if I'll go to the end of the chapter. Let's find out. But you, beloved, must remember the prediction of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. For they said to you, in the last times there will be scoffers indulging in their own ungodly lusts. It is these worldly people devoid of the spirit who are causing divisions. But you, beloved... Build yourselves up on your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Look forward to the mercies of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. And have mercy on, well, it says on the wavering and snatch some out of death and others who have defiled themselves and so on and so forth and so forth. And, and may Jesus Christ be with you now and forever. So the one thing I wanted to get out of that was again um, how in the in in the Old Testament in the New Testament I'm sorry it's an old book but the New Testament um, how there's always this continual you know there's division and scoff and trouble and pain and sorrow and Christians are never included in that group and yet today sometimes I think we see ourselves causing as much trouble or pain or sorrow or whatever you want to say as anybody else. And so how do we keep from getting into the uh, ditch with other people? How do, how do you do that? And I think the author here has some very simple things. And he says, build yourselves up on the most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit and keep yourself in love. And then always look forward to the mercy of Jesus Christ that can lead to eternal life. So these things, prayer, faith, and mercy um, will help keep us above the fray or out of the fray. I guess um, Christians aren't necessarily above anything, but out of the fray. And as we look forward and focus on that thing that matters much most, which is the eternal life that Jesus Christ is offering us. So those are the big things that um, I think we need to focus our faith on, and, and I hope you guys continue to focus on that. Instead of all those worldly distractions that can come up and cause us trouble and just eat on us, and when we don't need to do that. We just simply don't need to do that. Stay above it. All right, I'm pushing this back a little bit um, so you can see Chester. No, not really. Um, so I can hold this great big thing up and remind you what all is going on Sunday here at the church. And there's so much going on, I have to look at it. So we're having a hot dog and chili feed, and that's, oh man, that's going to be good. And there's live music by The Praise, and it'll be from 12 to 2. And then we're doing a free will offering, and, uh, and uh, it's a collection for Izzy Martin. And, uh, you know, she's having some trouble, and so we want to help her on her medical journey. And so we as a church are going to do that, and, and we have a challenge that... We have a matching gift up to $2,500. If we can get to $2,500, we have somebody who will match that. So, by golly, let's get all the way. I want them to spend every penny of that $2,500 in matching gifts. And then um, while we're doing this, you know, part of it, it's all together. It's going to be chaos, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, we'll have a trick-or-treating, and the kids are going to come. Encourage uh, Costumes are encouraged. We'll have a cupcake walk. And, uh, and that'll be fun. That'll be fun. I think it's in the gym is where they're going to do that, I think. And then uh, down at the bottom is Rebecca's. You see her book cover there? Rebecca Nolting will have some copies, and she'll sign them for you, and you can talk to her about it. And it's a, You know, I'm not biased here. I mean, I'm just saying what I believe. It's a good book. And uh, I think you'll be encouraged if you read it. Uh, I really do. I really do. So anyway, that's what we have going on after church on the 24th. That's going to be crazy. And they put a deadline on me. It says October 
4th at 11.30. So I, I can't preach past 11.30. I just can't. And, uh, you know, I'd love to, love to, but just can't. So we have to get out there and do all that. So please come. Please come and be ready to give for the Izzy Martin fundraiser. And uh, bring kids. Invite your neighborhood kids. Tell them to come. We'll, we'll have a fun little party in the gym. And then they can come outside and listen to music and play outside. It's supposed to be really nice. And uh, and then Rebecca's book signing on top of it. It's just going to be a great day. A great day. So anyway, all right. It ain't easy being this cheesy. Uh, oh, can you see the bottom? There you go. It ain't easy being cheesy. I love this shirt. I love this shirt. This is too awesome. You know, if it's a little corny, it probably fits me. So it's just kind of one of those things about me, right? So anyway, that's the main thing. We're just going to focus on that this week. We have other things that will be coming, but let's focus on this, the 24th and the big fundraiser, and, and let's do it right. And uh, I hope to see you in church Sunday, and I definitely hope to see you at this after. And uh, God bless you all real good. Have a great day, and uh, have a great week while you're at it. And remember what Jude said, all right? Just keep praying, keep praying, and, um, and, 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 and work in love and have mercy. Show some mercy. And God bless y'all. Real good. Amen.